off we go skiing, walking over to Canyon Lodge. It's about a half a mile to Canyon Lodge. And we'll see what it's like. It may be absolutely crazy. There's the old Jeep. So supposedly, according to the Mammoth app, you there are no walk-ons. You have to make reservations. So I made reservations. And I don't own my own skis anymore, so I set up to get skis, gave them all my information so it should go a little quicker. Today's warm, it's not real windy. So I'm hoping there are a lot of chairs open and it's not gonna be that bad. But I've already got my ticket and I wouldn't even have to pick up anything except I lost my Mammoth ski card so I can't just, I couldn't just recharge the card. So, I'll have to stand in line to get a card and stand in line to get my ski gear. So we'll see what skiing in a pandemic at Mammoth is like. <laughs> it's about uh, 940. So uh, I'll get in the process and we'll see how this goes. All right, 20 minutes later, I've got my ticket on my card and I've got my, my ski equipment. So it doesn't look bad at all. It could get worse. But right now, it looks really good. How's it going? Thanks. All right. So what? 25 minutes after we got started. And that means the whole process, getting a ticket and getting my equipment fitted. We're on a chair, so it's pretty good. It is beautiful. I haven't been skiing in at least two years, maybe three. We would go skiing every year in Mammoth for a few days, maybe close to a week. And then we'd go to Big Bear at least once a winter. And that was with the kids. And then after the kids went off to college, we didn't come up here at all one year. Now the other, the other lift had a lot more people. There was a line for the other lift. I can't even remember how difficult this one is, uh, but I'm going to take it pretty easy today. Nothing crazy. I don't want to leave in an ambulance. <laughs> Kind of looks a little icy. I don't know how long it's been since they had a really good snow. They had, in just a period of just a few days, 10 feet of snow this winter. But since we've been here, we only got a dusting. And I think it's at least been a couple of weeks since they've had a really good amount of snow. A little icy. Alright, 
Just shaking the cobwebs off. Feels good. Ah, feels really good. And it is beautiful out here. You really can't ask for a better day. I mean, the weather's great. It's not crazy busy yet. Look at this view. <laughs> I never get tired of it. Go to McCoy Lodge and get a beer. I'm at McCoy Station. It's not busy at all. I walked right up to the bar. I was the only person there. Got myself a beer. And I we've been out here, or I've been out here. A little over an hour I think I've done maybe five runs the most I've waited is maybe 10 minutes in a lift line so I mean it's it's pretty slow but it's a Monday it's worked out great it is hot I think it's like 45 degrees or something I took my jacket off I'm like sweating out here so this will cool me off a little bit I'm having fun it's a nice day beautiful day maybe a little hot and not a lot of powder but I'm not complaining. This is a great day. We started out at Canyon Lodge, now we're going to go down to the main lodge and from there we're going to take some chairs up and work our way across to Eagle Lodge.
John. How's it going? We didn't have any chili at McCoy's Lodge or McCoy Station. So maybe Eagle Lodge, we'll see. I know they do at the main lodge. I've been able to ride the chairs by myself the whole time. Eagle Lodge is... Whoa! <laughs> Eagle, Eagle Lodge is different than Main Lodge and Canyon Lodge. When you're going down the run, there's houses along the run. Some really nice houses. But I think we're almost there. Cool houses. Wow, beautiful. Found my chili. 
Have to have beer and chili. Or it's not skiing. All right, I'm done skiing for the day, so I'm gonna walk back to the lodge. And uh, I liked it. I thought it was pretty well organized. You couldn't eat inside, but plenty of places to sit around, either in chairs or stand-up tables outside. They limited the number of uh, tickets, so you had to buy the tickets in advance. And when we came up, the weekend tickets were already sold out. So I don't know how many tickets they were selling for it to be sold out. But today definitely wasn't very busy. And uh, you know, it took me 20 minutes to get through the process of getting my ticket loaded. Even though I'd already bought it in advance, I lost the card, so I had to get a new card. But to get fitted and get the card and get out and get on the chair took about uh, 20 minutes. So that was awesome. And I got as many runs in as I wanted. The most I ever waited was maybe 10 minutes. So, uh, very warm, beautiful day. There's a bunch of little kids playing right in front of me here. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I haven't been out in two years, so it was nice to get out and ski. So, uh, even with the pandemic restrictions, I thought they, they did a good job with it. And uh, awesome, beautiful day. I'll close by, you can check out these little ones. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and please subscribe. Help me grow the channel. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.